guys, it's Ashley Coupon Goddess and welcome back to my channel. We are at Walgreens. There is a ton going on, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time talking um, so we can get through these deals and the video does not end up being 30, 35 minutes. But there's a lot going on and I did have issues and I'm super mad. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, on my Ibotta account, they took the Roto eye drops rebates away. When I was at the store, I still had like two days left to redeem those rebates and they are gone off of my account. So I will be returning those. Um, and I did get my issues fixed, but I'm still gonna, I think, return those. I might keep one, I don't know. But yes, I had some issues with digitals not coming off, register reward not printing, um, and then those rebates being gone and another digital not coming off and a spend booster not scanning. So um, I did a total of six transactions. We have those awesome um, purchase-based coupons where it's you know five off 10, five off 15, five off 20. If you didn't get them, there's no way to get them. It's totally random. I didn't get them for a long time. Every account you know, does not get them. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. And they're really only available to clip for like a day and then they're gone. So if you don't clip them, they will just disappear and it will be too late until the next time. But they have been giving them to us more often. So don't be too down. I didn't clip them last time um, for like last week's deals and I was totally okay. I was still able to do some great deals. So for the first transaction, I went ahead and I picked up some of the Dove Women Body Wash and the Dove Men. They are buy one, get the second half price. Buy two, get 1,000 points, which is equal to a dollar at Walgreens. So I picked up two of the women's. One was $7.49, one was $3.74. And two of the Dove Men Body Wash, one was $6.99 and one was $3.49. So all four of those totals made $21.71. And for this one, my six off 20 um, purchase based digital coupon came off. And I used two of the buy one, get one free coupons that we got in our 621 inserts. And it is a 621 retail me not to be exact and this is what they look like right here Let me get this to focus okay I don't know oh here we go it's a buy one dove body wash any one dove body wash product and get one dove men plus care body wash product free and is up to a six dollar value that it will take off so, this is what my receipt looks like. Buy one, get one half price on the women's. Buy one, get one half price on the men. There is my six off 20 that came off. And those buy one, get one free coupons took off $5.41 each. It adjusted down once my six off 20 came off. $4.89 was my subtotal that I was left to pay. Now, I did use um, 5,000 in points. So I had a subtotal of zero um, because here in Illinois, we can use points to pay towards our tax. And then I did get back my 2,000 points, as you see here, a um, 1,000 for every two that I purchased because it's buy two, get 1,000 points. So that brings it down to 289. I submitted my receipt to Fetch Rewards and I got 2217 points, which basically is $2.21. So after getting the 2000 points back from Walgreens and the $2.21 back, it was um a, I got 1000 points for each one of the Dove men I had on my account. So after getting all those points back from Fetch and Walgreens, it left me with a final cost of 68 cents for all four or just 17 cents each for some Dove body wash. And those are the bigger bottles. Then I picked up some facial care and some lotion. They are buy two, get the third for free this month. 
I picked up the Oxy um, Acne Cleanser here, which was uh, $6.79. It was more than it was showing online. And then I picked up the three-in-one um, pads there, the facial pads for $6.79. And then I also picked up the Vaseline Lotion, which was completely free but it was priced at $4.49. But that third cheapest product is going to be your free product. I was gonna get that Neutrogena bar, but my um, Neutrogena rebate from Ibotta had expired already. And sometimes you can, it'll a digital will come off on a free item, but this time my $2.50 digital for the Vaseline did not come off. Still okay. Um, I had a dollar digital for the wash and a dollar Peely coupon that was on top of that 90 count of the three-in-one facial pads. So that did take $2 off. Here is my receipt. There are both of the Oxy products at $6.79 each and that Vaseline lotion, which was free. There is my five off 10 purchase base coupon that came off. And then I had that dollar um, Peely coupon and the dollar digital. My subtotal was $6.58. I did use 5,000 points, so I paid $1.58 subtotal, but without points, $6.58, and I submitted to Ibotta for $2 back on each Oxy product, so I did get $4 back there, and then I submitted my receipt to Fetch Rewards, and I got 800 bonus points back for the Vaseline, which is equal to $0.80, cents. so total I got $4.80 back between the two rebate apps. So final cost for all three of those items is $1.78 for all three or just 59 cents each, which I think is an amazing price for those items. Next, I grabbed the six of the Renews It cones, the air freshener cones at 89 cents each. So for all six of them, it totaled me $5.34. In the Walgreens app, there is a two off six um, digital coupon. So it brought me down to 334 out of pocket. And then I submitted to Ibotta, when you buy five, you're gonna get $2 back. So final cost after that Ibotta rebate is $1.34 for all six or just 22 cents each. Then I grab these Snuggle Scent Shakes for $2.99, and there is a dollar digital in the Walgreens app that makes that just $1.99 after the digital. I grabbed the um, Oral-B, it's the 3D White Toothbrush. It is part of the $2.99 on sale. Buy one, get a $2 register reward back. We do have a dollar digital, so I use that. I paid $1.99 and should have gotten back the $2 register reward, but it did not print out. So um, I did the live chat and I got the 2,000 points back instead of the register reward. Also, I grabbed two of the all detergent, which are also on sale for $2.99. And I had a three off two digital for that. So both of those was $5.98 using that $3 digital left me paying $2.98 out of pocket um, or $1.49 each for those detergent. But my three off two digital did not come off. I even rung up the snuggle first. So they did issue me my 3,000 points back for that as well. So a total of $5 back that they gave me for that transaction. And here is my receipt. There's the Oral-B toothbrush, $2.99, the Snuggle at $2.99, the All Detergent at $2.99 each, and all six of my Renews It cones. There is my five off 15 purchase base coupon that came off. Here we have the two off six digital for the Renews It, the dollar digital for the Oral-B, and the dollar digital for the Snuggle Scent Shakes. My subtotal was $8.30. It should have been $5.30 if that three off two digital would have come off. And I did use 5,000 points, so I paid $3.30. Um, I should have just paid a subtotal of 30 cents. 
So 830 was my subtotal. I did get issued 5,000 points. So a final cost was $3.30. And then, like I said, I did get the $2 back from my Bata. So final cost for all of that was $1.30. For all 10 of those items, it came to just 13 cents each, which I think is an amazing price for those items. So like I said, I did do the Roto deal. Um, the white boxes here are $8.79, and the purple bottle is $13.99. In our IVC book of savings, the Walgreens coupons, we have a $4 IVC coupon that takes $4 off of each one. So I had it clipped to my card. It came off just fine. My store already had the new IVC books and said they didn't have any of the old ones. So I said, well, I have it clipped to my card. I hope, you know, it comes off fine. And then um, I had a $5 digital that did not come off for this purple box. And I had a seven off three digital for the other ones and a $3 off one. So, and this was the very last transaction that I did. And um, I had one purchase base coupon left, which was an eight off 28. Um, but because after the IVC coupons, I was not at $28. So my purchase base coupon, you know, obviously wouldn't come off, but I did have percent off coupons. So I don't know if they're just not coming off at all, even if you don't have any purchase base ones left that will apply, but I didn't have any of that come off, any of those percent off coupons. Um, and like I said, my $5 digital did not come off. So Here's my receipt. You see the one at $13.99. There's the $4 IVC. The other three at $8.79, which was a total of $26.37. I had $12 come off in IVC coupons. We have the seven off two digital for the Roto and the $3 off one. That $5 digital for the purple box did not come off. $14.36 was my subtotal. It should have been $9.36. And then if one of my person off coupons would have come off, that definitely would have been extra savings. Um, I think I had a 20% off of a $15 purchase, 20% off of an 18. I even had a 30% off of a $20 purchase. So I had quite a few, um, but nothing. So I did use $10 in points. My subtotal was $4.36. And like I said, now I can't even submit it to Ibotta because my rebates are gone. So I might keep one because sometimes my husband has to work 16 hour shifts and, um, you know, he needs them. So I might keep one, return the rest. I have not fully decided yet, but I did get my. 5,000 points back for that digital not coming off and I told them I had the 30% off of the $20 purchase so that would be $8 and around 10 cents so that'll be like $13 and 10 cents back and my subtotal was $14.36. So after all is said and done, getting all of those points back, final cost is just $1.26 for all four of them, or $0.31 cents each, which is still a really good deal on those products, but I really wanted the money maker. I know, can't always get that. But the next transaction that I went ahead and did, um, and actually the rebates for these were $3 back for each one and $5 back for that one. But for the Pampers, they are two for 18 and buy three, get 6,000 points. So I picked up two of the size four and two of, or one of the size five. So I was not expecting the third one to ring up at the sale price because it said one at $12.99 or two for 18. So I was expecting that third one to ring up at $12.99 and it actually did ring up for $9. So that was an extra $3.99 that I saved right there because I wasn't expecting that. Um, so I had a six off three 
digital coupon for the diapers and I do also have a six off three for the easy up so I don't quite need those yet I have gotten them you know sporadically just to kind of stock up if there's a really good deal but my son is not at that point yet so for all three of the diapers at $9 each, it came to $27. I used that $6 digital coupon, bringing it down to $21 and out of pocket. And then you get 6,000 points back, which is $15 um, for all three or about $5 each. Maybe doesn't seem like the best deal, but $5 for Pampers is not a bad deal. It's a pretty good deal, but I was also using a spend 30 get 6,000 points back. I'll explain to you guys what happened with that. And also my seven off 25 purchase base coupon did come off. So that helped as well. I also grabbed one of the little Maybelline eyeshadows for $3.99. I used my $3 digital coupon, made it just 99 cents. I didn't get anything back for it. It does count towards Walgreens Beauty Club, but I wanted to make sure I was still going to be at $30 um, after that purchase base coupon came off. And I also grabbed these little Dove. Now, a lot of people's are $1.49 at their store. Mine are $1.79. So for both of those little Dove deodorants, it was $3.58. There is a $2.50 off to digital coupon in the Walgreens app. That is is working for those so for me after that two dollar and fifty cent digital coupon it brings me to a dollar and eight cents for both of them or just 54 cents each which is definitely not a bad deal it's cheaper than dollar tree so i threw that in here as well um so here is my receipt now i had them scan all the items and then i typed my number in while they were scanning i gave the point booster that spend 30 get 6,000 points it wouldn't scan um so the cashier called the manager over and during the transaction like even before um my digitals came off she applied um 5, of the points during the transaction and then after had to do just the thousand points to add up to that 6,000 points. I hope that made sense um, that I was supposed to get for that spend booster. It, you know, like I said, I wasn't, um, I don't even know. I was not expecting that other diaper to be $9. I was expecting it to be $12.99. So I don't know if that had something to do with it or if, those point boosters just really don't work with the purchase base coupons. I don't know. Um, so here is my receipt. Maybe. There are my Pampers diapers, $9 each. There's the two Dove deodorants at $1.79 and the Maybelline eyeshadow at $3.99. There is my 7 off 25 purchase base coupon, my 6 off 3 of the Pampers diapers. $3 off of the Maybelline eyeshadow, $2.50 off of the Dove. Um, and you can see here that she issued um, the 5,000 points during the transaction. I didn't even know they could do that. So my subtotal was $16.07. Now I did not use points on this transaction because I was trying to use that point booster. Um, but I guess I probably could have since she just issued the points anyway. And then I submitted my receipt to Fetch Rewards for the Dove deodorants. And I got 2,460 points, which is equal to $2.46 back. And then here was the separate thousand that she had to... Oh my goodness, this phone issue right there. And then you can see here, I did get 11,000 points, which was 6,000 when you buy three of the Pampers and then five of that 6,000 from the spend 30, get 6,000 points booster. Okay, I hope that all makes sense. So 
I was left with a subtotal of $16.07 and I got back total 12,000 points from Walgreens and then I got the $2.46 back from Fetch for the Dove. So we were at $16.07. I got 12,000 points back, which is equal to $12. So that brings us down to $4.07. And then I got my $2.46 back from Fetch Rewards. So final cost for all, what is that? Three, four, five, Six items is a dollar and sixty-one cents for all six items, or twenty-six cents each for some Pampers diapers. This is a must-do deal, I feel, especially if you have this purchase base coupon. I just I just really feel it is. I think that's a great deal, especially if you have those digital coupons. So anyway. I'm super excited about that. Next transaction is my last transaction, and look what I got. I got me some paper products, Charmin and Bounty. Now, this was like a really household um, transaction for us. We really needed some paper bowls. Um, we were completely out, so... Yeah, that's just never a good thing in my house. And got some Pringles and, like I said, the paper products. So, the Charmin 6 equals 24 mega rolls and the 4 equals 8 double rolls of the Bounty paper towels are on sale for $6.99. They are originally, I think, nine. Yes, $9.99 they originally are. So, I didn't have any coupons for them either. But it still worked out to be a great deal. So, they are on sale for $6.99, which totaled $13.98. And when you buy two, you're going to get a $3 register reward. So, I paid the $13.98 basically out of pocket for them. And then you get the $3 register reward back. No coupons for those. Dixie plates and bowls, the paper plates and bowls, are $3.99 on sale. Buy one, get one free. And I had a $0.75 cent off two digital coupon for those so that made them 324 for both or a dollar 62 each pringles are on sale three for four and i had a dollar off three digital coupon i just realized i picked up an extra one <laughs> but that's okay oh uh, they were three for four i don't know why i picked up that fourth one I don't know, but it was a dollar off three digital in the app, made them a dollar a piece, something like that, or it would have made them a dollar a piece had I just gotten the three. Oh my goodness. So here is my receipt for that transaction. There are the Dixie paper bowls, $3.99, buy one, get one free, and the Pringles, you see three for four. And then the Bounty and the Charmin on sale for $6.99. My 5 off 20 purchase base coupon came off. My dollar off 3 digital for the Pringles. And my 75 cent off 2 for the Dixie. My subtotal was $16.58. I did use 10,000 points. So my out of pocket was $6.56. But without points, $16.56. And and we did get our $3 register reward for the Bounty and the Charmin. We did not get anything else back for that transaction after getting the register reward back. Makes it $13.56 for all, what's that, four, five, six, seven, eight of those items which comes out to be $1.69 an item. So to get those paper products for that, I'm super all about it. And just don't pick up an extra Pringles like I did. That was not good. But anyway, also when I did that um, facial care and the lotion, this little coupon printed out here as well. $3 off your next purchase of any clean and clear products. So that could be very good. And it doesn't expire until late July. So that was awesome. Um, but yeah, that is it. That's everything that I have for you. And I probably will, I don't know, 
I probably will end up keeping the Roto because it was a pretty good deal. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you did any other great deals that I maybe missed or that I didn't pick up. Let me know. I love to hear what you guys are picking up or what you did. All of that great stuff. I'm super excited with what I got. Being able to use all those purchase based coupons this time and redeeming for the rebates super bummed about that roto rebate i was ex really hoping for that huge money maker on that but it's all right we got diapers for what 26 cents i'm all there okay anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up share it with someone if you think that they can value out of it as well and i will see you guys next video bye bye for now